Hello and welcome back to another episode of the GeoGuessr Daily Challenge. Uh, two golds in a row. Let's keep it going. Let's not waste any time. Okay, so right off the bat we're seeing either Thai or Cambodian language. Um, we see a temple here which kind of looks maybe Cambodian. Um, you know, it kind of reminds me of Angkor Wat. Um, but let's see. We can actually read this whole thing and just find out Brahma something. I mean, we don't have too much time, but I do want to try to Lakundi, right? Lakundi. Um, okay, so I'm not seeing any. Hmm. Lakundi. So I'm, I'm going to end up looking for that, I guess, because I don't really have much else to work on. I'm going to plop one down. Um, could it be Thai, I guess, as well? Um, you know what I am going to do? Without wasting too much time, let's see if we can escape this area. Um, kind of go somewhere else, maybe the street maybe there's a flag maybe uh, we could see what side of the road they're driving on looks like that guy's on the right interesting um, government of India does that say India oh that's a worry so hmm was I wrong about the language Lakundi the story of Lakundi um, Yes, I was wrong about the language, actually. And it seems that it might be down here in India. Let's look. Now, could it be Sri Lanka? I don't know. Look, I think the language can be similar in these areas. Um, wow, I could get a bad score here. Um... My hubris really got to me there. All right, so, um, 32, 61, 22 seconds, or now 23, Lakundi. Oh, boy. We could really take a big L on this one. I'm going to place it right in the middle here. Um, what are the odds? We read the sign a little bit more. Jinlaya, right? Ooh. Okay. Well, so the good news is we're still in it. Um, we we're in Gadag Bet Betageri. And there's Lakundi. We weren't going to find it. Maybe we could have gotten a little bit closer. I don't feel too bad about it, though. 1,500 points lost, just about. Um, and here's a free round. So we're at the, uh, the Great Pyramids here. Uh, you're always in a different location around the pyramids. My theory is that the pyramids show up so much. Um, I think we might be here. Um, the pyramids sh show up so much on GeoGuessr because there's so many damn pictures taken at the pyramids. That's my theory. Um, but the good news about that is that it means that I get 5,000 points um, whenever they do show up. So that's starting to make up for the last round. Okay. Looking like Peru or Ecuador, something like that. We're in a very, very mountainous Latin American country. I have no doubt about that in my mind uh, based on the houses and the mountains. Um, could be Bolivia as well. The worry is actually finding a flag, some text, because we're so high up in the Andes that there might not even be anything for me to find. So there's a traditionally dressed woman. Um, 
Feliz Año Nuevo. Yep. Okay. Wow. This is beautiful though, isn't it? I mean, look at this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, if nothing else today, we will have seen ab an absolutely beautiful uh, landscape. So there's that. Um, I just placed it in the mountains there in an area where I think it could be. Um, I have no real evidence to tell me why. Uh, it actually probably is a bit closer to Bolivia. I'm going to place it right near Cusco. Um, no, I'm seeing a, something there that could actually help. And now, of course, the path comes to an end, uh, which means I was going the right way to begin with. Um, this is feeling like a big old L, guys, genuinely. Uh, we're in the mountains in a bit of a valley uh, to our, uh, looks like it's going up, maybe up here, I don't know. Looks like there could be a, you know, a river valley down there, uh, but really, you know, uh, I have no idea. It could be up here though, who knows, imagine I found it, just like completely randomly, that would be funny. Um right it's all about god nothing about where you live though please tell me where we are 27 seconds doesn't look like we're gonna find anything here at least we got some beautiful views we have a nice thumbnail for the day um gotta get a picture of me covering my face with my hands because of how bad we're gonna do on this round though um yeah not not happening um yeah, I'm going to leave it there, though. Let's see how I do. Could be anywhere, though. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I had the right idea. Um, hey, not bad. Not bad. Okay. So that's where we were in Peru, in the mountains. And, I mean, we only lost 500 points. We're still in it. We need to do a lot better, though, on these upcoming rounds. Only 600 points to buffer, or 700, so. Okay, let's let's look at this. Uh, Svevia. Okay, no idea, but we're seeing um, possible Scandinavian things. Maybe Denmark. Uh, this says Rika, one mile. R-Y-C-K-A. Interesting way to spell a name. Who uses CKs? I don't know. Okay, and now we see Trasberg, uh, Salaby. Why does that feel so Danish? Why do I think I've seen a Salaby before? Oh my goodness. Trasberg, Salaby. I think we're up here. Saibi. Oh, that's why. Jung. Hold on. And or something. Here's the issue. Trasper, Lovain, Salaby. I don't know. Could it be Sweden? I'm just scared of Sweden because it's so big, you know? Like, I don't think I'll find these places if it is. We need more info. We need more info. Young. Harden. Because doesn't it feel so flat? This almost feels Netherlands flat, you know? It almost feels like we are in the Netherlands, which is why it makes me think Denmark, because of how close it is. I don't know. I need a highway sign. I need a flag, like... There's a flagpole, but they're not flying the flag. Oh, they are. It's Sweden. Trasberg. Oh, God. Well, I don't think we're that high up. Trasberg, Salaby. Oh, boy. What if we go this way really quick? We have 39 seconds. 
No, there's nothing that way. Okay, so right off the bat, let's go. So the flag was Swedish. Uh, I want those signs at that intersection. 21 seconds. We need to find one of these places. Trasberg, Salabi, um, Jung, and Harene. Um, eight seconds. This is it. I'm losing. Oh, no. Hold on. Salabi is up there, and I clicked down here. Oh, another crazy guess. Wow. Today is the day of, of crazy guesses. Um, and we're still in it. So let's see. Let's see. Last round here. We need to not lose 483 points. So that is what looks to be a Colombian flag next to a Bolivian flag or something. Ecuador. Okay. Ecuador. We are in it. If we can get close enough to not lose 450 points. Bolivar, Ecuador. Bolivar, is that a place? Well, it might be a place. I think it is, actually. So, uh, let's go to Ecuador. Is there a place called Bolivar? Please? Simon Bolivar. Where are you? Hmm. I'm going to place it in the middle of Ecuador right now. And we're going to keep looking. We're definitely in the country. There's no doubt about that, at least. Um, a minute 30 left. We're about halfway through. We need a sign. Some sort of sign to tell us what highway we're on. What, you know, what city is coming up. We're going to turn around, I think, at some point if I don't find something very, very soon. But this looks like something. Let's see. La Unión something. Clementina. Yeah. Good. Come on. I'm going to continue this way. I'm not going to reset our position. Or am I? I am. I am going to reset. Um, we're going to go this way for a second see if we could get a better sign. Uh, it's looking like there is something this way. We have 31 seconds and we're not in the mountains. Let's keep that in mind. The mountains are actually nowhere to be seen, um, which is an interesting thing. I'll definitely take that into account um, as I make my guess. We are in a very industrial area. 10 seconds. We are out of time. These are the mountains, so maybe we're around here. These are flat areas. No! No, that's not enough. I guess in the middle of Ecuador would have been perfect. There we were in Playas. I bet you if I went the other way from the start, would have found it right away. But unfortunately, the gold streak of two days <laughs> comes to an end. Uh, we're just 200 points behind it. Um, and hey, you know what? We were up against it all day. Hard, hard India round. Pretty hard Sweden round. Uh, really difficult Peru round. I expect a lot of people to lose a lot of points there. Um, and then Ecuador. Mm, every round we were losing pretty big points and one freebie with the pyramids. 
Uh, let's see how others did, though. I mean, it's been a couple hours since it came out, but I mean, yeah, look at this. It's so It was so hard today that despite that score, I ended up in top 65 and it's been out for three and a half hours so far. So, hey, not bad. I have to sneeze. I'm going to hold it in. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like down below, subscribe for daily GeoGuessr videos, and leave a comment. Let me know how you did on today's daily. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.